So is this the coronary artery or is this the carotid artery? It's the carotid artery. So we've got two carotid arteries here in the neck. Uh -huh. And there are actually two other blood vessels that give blood to our uh, brain. Smaller ones in the back called the vertebral arteries. But the two carotid arteries, those are the workhorse arteries. They deliver most of the blood to the brain. Where do they come from? They come off of this big blood vessel in the chest called the aorta. And that actually gives blood to the entire body. And so there's a lot of blood going through those blood vessels. So they're the path of least resistance that goes up to the brain. You got the, it. Now, what can happen to those carotid arteries? So in a lot of people, uh, in the neck, those arteries can develop an area of tight narrowing. And if that happens, they're at risk of stroke. Basically, a tiny piece of plaque or a little blood clot can form just beyond that area of narrowing. And when that travels up to the brain, that blocks one of the blood vessels in the brain, and that's a stroke. And sometimes we call that a brain attack, which is, which is similar. Now, that, what causes that carotid artery to be diseased? Well, there's a lot of things. Uh, diabetes, smoking is the number one thing that's indicted. Smoking. Smoking. We, smoking always, we blame everything on smoking, and it causes everything. It's the truth, though. Smoking is number one. Diabetes, trouble with cholesterol control, high blood pressure, they all play a role, but by far and away, the most common cause is smoking. I should say, though, that and they some... Cause, they cause what disease in the neck, though? It, it causes something called atherosclerosis, yeah. which is hardening of the arteries, yeah. and it causes this narrowing trouble, not just in the carotid arteries, but elsewhere in the body, too. So, can it be fixed? It can be fixed, and thankfully, most of the time, it's something that's a straightforward fix. Straightforward fix. So, mm -hmm. it's done frequently? Yes. Uh, the, the treatment of carotid artery narrowing, mm -hmm. we call it carotid artery stenosis. Yep. How do you diagnose it? Well, a number of ways. So, number one, when you go to see your primary care provider, uh, oftentimes they'll put their stethoscope on your neck and listen for a certain noise called a brewy. <laughs> Yep. Is that pretty good? <laughs> that, that's <laughs> pretty good, yes. That's a good rendition. <laughs> so yeah, they'll heal that brie. That's number one. Uh, number two, a nice diagnosis comes from something called an ultrasound, where they use this machine that they just put it on your skin. It uses sound waves to look inside of our body. That can tell us if the carotid artery is narrowed. And last but not least, if it looks like someone has this carotid stenosis, the narrowing of the carotid artery, uh, we do something called a CT scan that gets very detailed, basically x-ray images of those blood vessels and tells us if the trouble is something that is sufficiently bad where they're at risk and number two if we can fix it.